Hi, this is Chris from VitaminCM.com and today we're going to learn how to use your old computer as a multi-purpose server and we're going to learn how to control the server remotely from another computer using free software. So let's say you buy a new computer for your house and you hook it all up. Well, you're probably wondering, what should I do with this old computer? You know, you might think maybe throw it out, give it away, donate it to somewhere. Well, there's a couple things that you can do with it that are pretty useful still. You can use it as a backup server to back up your, old, your other computers on the network. You can use it to make a centralized media hub that will store your photos, music, videos. Uh, you can, and the nice thing about it is we're going to do this using hardware that you already own. So your old computer, the new computer you bought, and your router. And the other thing is we're going to use free and simple to set up software to do this. So what's in it for you? Well, one of the things is you can save money. Instead of uh, buying one of those backup hard drives or some fancy backup server to store all your stuff, you can do it for free with stuff you already own. Two, you can save space. So instead of having to have two computers hooked up with two monitors, two keyboards, two mice, all that, you can do it with only one. And Another nice benefit is once you set it up to run backups, you'll never lose your important files again. So all those photos, videos, uh, music, documents, your financial information, you won't lose that should one of your computers crash. And the other thing is there's one less thing for you to throw in a landfill, which is also always nice. So what do you need to do this? Well, you need stuff that you pretty much already own. Your old computer, the new computer you bought, a uh, monitor, keyboard, mouse, some network cables and a router and one optional thing that you might want to do is buy a, a new hard drive for the old computer, a really large one since you're going to use it to back up a bunch of files from your new computer and maybe any other computers you have on the network. So that's really the only extra thing you're going to have to buy if you want to. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set up the old hardware. You're going to want to start with the old computer first. So connect the old computer to the router, connect the new computer to the router, and then connect the old computer using the keyboard, the monitor, and the mouse, and turn it on. Then you're going to want to set up the software. So we're going to do that in a couple steps. We're going to start off using the old computer. We'll download the software to the old computer. We'll install it on the old computer. We'll configure it to run. And then we need to find out the IP address of the old computer. So we'll see how to do all that. Then we're going to take that all all apart, plug the monitor and the keyboard and the mouse into the new computer, start it up. We'll download the software to the new computer, we'll configure it, and then we'll connect it to the old computer and start controlling it. Okay, so let's get started. 